Hey guys, in this video, I wanna talk to you about safety glasses and what to look for. We did a test. I still remember the day when I was working and the sawdust blew right off the workbench in my face. Four hours later, I was in the emergency room getting four splinters out of my eyes. I certainly did not see that coming. I'm pretty sure that if I had had safety glasses on, it would have prevented that mishap. So the question is, what should you be looking for in a pair of safety glasses? And are some pairs better than others? So if you ask me, the answer is simple. The best pair of safety glasses are the ones that you're gonna wear. Well, it seems that the most common excuse not to wear safety glasses, at least for me and most of the folks I know, is that they fog up so I can't see and it's frustrating, or they're scratched to the point that it impairs my vision. Now, according to the CDC, there are over 10,000 eye injuries in North America alone, and that's every single day. Approximately 2,000 of those injuries require medical treatment and three to four days off of work. Experts all agree that using correct eye protection can lessen the severity and even prevent 90% of the eye injuries. Now, I wanna just note that 63% of all these eye injuries happen out of work believe it or not. You might be cutting your grass, trimming weeds, doing some DIY stuff on your own property, um, or fishing. And if you don't believe me, Google fishing eye injuries if you dare. All right, let's talk about to, to decrease eye injuries. The American National Standards Institute, ANSI, and the American uh, the Military Combat Eye Protection Systems, MSEPS, or MSEPS, created intense impact and rigorous optical tests, and that's to ensure quality and effectiveness of glasses. The MSEP standard consists of a series of impact tests simulating intense ballistic velocities that someone would face in combat. We get way more in depth on ANSI and MSEP and the standards in our Toolbox Buzz website article. So if you want that information, click the link below in the description. You can read it all, all you want. So we wanted to show you what ANSI really means in safety glasses. So the Toolbox Buzz crew sampled a wide range of glasses easily off the shelf from big box stores and online. We chose a range of 10 to $30 to, to sample our, our glasses, but we wanted decent quality. We also included one brand called HDX out of one of the big box stores and it ranged, it comes in like a six piece bulk option. We chose that because it's priced low and many contractors don't want to spend the money and they buy in bulk. Some of the glasses were lens and frame and some were molded style, one piece. So we looked at a, uh, seven, seven brands. We looked at the Bowley Prism 2, the Edge, um, I think it's called Brizzo, the HDX, it's a Home Depot shelf, Honey, uh, Honeywell Uvex, Milwaukee's glasses that are new, um, Pyramix and 3M. All of these are available. So there are many styles and features in safety glasses and a result, as a result, you could probably spend from a few dollars, three dollars, all the way up to $80 a pair if you want. So using our 10 to $30 guideline, we chose safety glasses with the following criteria. It had to comply with an ANSI standard. They had to be within our 10 to $30 range, excluding the HDX outlier. And we wanted to test them without the foam gasket attached. Most of the testing that we conducted would be considered high impact testing and some of it are ANSI standards. We looked at seven categories and they included, uh, well, first of all, they included impact testing and within the impact testing, we looked at a nail gun impact test, pass or fail, we'll talk about that, a steel spike test, this bad boy right here, and a needle penetration test. Additionally, we looked at fog testing, comfort, frame technology, visual clarity, thermal plastic rubber TPR technology, and of course price. And price can sometimes skew things. The team decided that we, we, use, we would use four criteria to determine if the safety glasses failed during impact. Um, and it would be lens detachment, fracture of the lens, penetration of the rear of the lens, so if it, if it broke the rear end of the lens, and frame breakage. So what happened next was truly eye-opening, and yes, I just did say that. Um, we did our pneumatic nail impact test, and I was blown away by this. We shot four 16-penny, three-and-a-half-inch long framing nails from a distance of one foot at 100 PSI. Each pair of glasses were affixed to a mannequin head and secured with a bungee cord to keep everything stable. What was truly amazing 
especially to the Toolbox Buzz team, was that all of the ANSI rated safety glasses, regardless of price point, were able to withstand the nail strikes, four nail strikes, at a close distance. Now we did our steel spike test. This is actually an ANSI test, and or an ANSI standard. And for this test, um, frames and lenses have to be able to take a 17.6 ounce steel spike dropped from 50 inches. You measure that from the top of the glass to where you, the pipe drop is. Pyramix was the only pair of, of glasses that lost a lens. It was actually the other side lens during the testing. Um, it was the opposite lens impacted. It just popped out and it easily popped back in place, but it was a fail. Um, then we did a needle penetration test. On this test, the lens must be capable of resisting penetration by a needle with a total weight of 1.56 ounces dropped from a height of 50 inches. All of the glasses passed the needle test. The, the next test we looked at was safety glass fog testing. Now, one of the biggest complaints of construction industry is that safety glasses fog up. Anti-fog coatings are designed to help reduce fogging in cold to warm temperature transitions in moderate to high humidity environments. Um, when we start working and sweating, things fog up. So we used a portable handheld fogger, or I should say a steamer, to accelerate fogging. The test was pass-fail. Bole and HDX failed this test. The others passed the test and all have high quality anti-fog coatings. Now there are two types of anti-fog fog coatings. Not all safety glasses have anti-fog treatment and probably most of the ones that do have what's called a hydrophobic coating. Hydrophobic coatings are a water-based coating. So once you clean the glasses a few times, the coating wears off, it's no longer effective. Quality anti-fog glasses use hydrophilic coatings and that will last a lifetime, the life of the glass. Hydrophilic coatings are made with a proprietary polymer bond that they permanently adhere a bond to the polycarbonate safety lens. The coating is able to hold a high amount of moisture and it naturally releases the moisture along the edges of the lens, making them really difficult to fog up. Now because hydrophilic coatings are not soap based, they don't wash off like the hydrophobic will. Okay, moving on from there, we looked at comfort and fit. The winner of that was Milwaukee. Safety glass temples should fit comfortably over the years and, and you know, to close gaps, you wanna make sure that a frame is no further than a pencil away from the face at any point. So we use that standard. The nose should fit or should adequately support the bridge of the spectacle. Um, and the team evaluated each pair of glasses for this comfort and fit. Now the Milwaukee glasses were the most comfortable followed by Edge. And in third place was a tie with Bole and Honeywell. We also looked at peripheral vision. And the winner of that, there was no clear winner. The team just could not come to a consensus. Safety glasses should protect the user from reasonable probability of impact from flying objects. A protector with side protection obviously is gonna give you guys better protection. So assessing peripheral vision typically involves you determine the field of view, which is measured horizontally from the individual's nasal bridge outward. The field, um, you also want to include a vertical measurement as well. <clears throat> now, there, there are a variety of methods of measuring field of view, and the appropriate one may depend on your workplace, hazard assessment, and or job function. So you need to consider that stuff. The team felt that all of the glasses evaluated offered excellent peripheral vision protection. Now we did look at visual clarity and the winner of that was Edge. Now, for visual clarity, the team looked at the lenses to determine distortion of the vision in different areas of the lens, different quadrants. The Edge lens were by far the best in this category, followed by Milwaukee in second place and Honeywell taking up third in third place. From there, we looked at other safety glass features and um, there's a whole lot of features that you can think about with safety glasses, but we kept it kind of tight. We looked at the thermoplastic rubber technology, they call it TPR. The winner on that was Milwaukee. The thermoplastic rubber is a soft and pliable compound that increases its grip and becomes, um, uh, as it becomes warm or damp, I suppose. This technology is used in the temple tips, the nose pads, it prevents slipping of the glasses off your face. The team felt that Milwaukee had the best combination of TPR with Honeywell, is a second place and Pyramix in third. 
As far as frame technology, overall construction, the winner of that was Edge. The team evaluated the frames and considered hinges, temple arms, peripheral coverage on the frame, dur durable nylon compound construction. Um, Edge easily took first place, Milwaukee second, and Honeywell third in the rankings. The cost evaluations, well, the winner of that was HDX, and I told you that um, we used HDX as a low price outlier, and it did perform exceptionally well in our tests and cost approximately $3.50 a pair. Now, Pyramix comes in approximately $5 a pair and is an, another great pair of glasses. Both Edge and Milwaukee Safety Glasses topped the price list, but you can see in the subjective rankings that they scored tops in all the categories. Honeywell's Uvex uh, glasses certainly deserve the best value and in this testing. And what I mean by that is they come in around $10 a pair and they, they were top tier in almost every category uh, and cost half of the most expensive safety glasses that we evaluated. Now, if we, if we, we didn't evaluate this, but we can talk about specialty lenses and some manufacturers offer specialty lenses like shade coatings and different lighting conditions and tasks. Things like polarization, reflective coatings, there's UV protections, there's neutral lenses and colored lenses. For example, Edge Eyewear offers a wide variety of shades with different light transmission properties, and that's to improve clarity, contrast, and UV protection. They also offer welding lenses and additional UVC uh, protection for metal workers and fabricators. Now, these lenses may seem like overkill to some, but they make a tremendous difference in how well you see your work. So, what safety lens type is best or is right for you? Well, personal preference and lighting situation should be the major driving factors for you. If you want all around dark tinted safety glasses, a, a neutral would probably be where they go, the way to go. Um, if you're working outside in, in, or in environments with UV light, then you want to look at UVA, UVB, UVC protection. Um, variable lighting, such as partly clouded days or moving interior to out and back in again, could be uh, easier with a mid-range or tinted lens in maybe copper or amber. So do your research and try a couple different options. Try to figure out what's best for you. Now overall winner in our evaluation, the overall uh, glasses that we liked the best when we did this testing was the Milwaukee. It took um, first place followed very closely by Honeywell and real close in third place by Edge. All three glasses have high quality anti-fog technology. Both Milwaukee, Honeywell and Edge impressed the team in almost every category that we evaluated. All of these safety glasses, all of them, impressed us with impact testing, especially that nail gun test. Brutal. With that said, any of these glasses will protect you from flying objects. Now that we cut that out of the way, let me remind you of the two biggest reasons why we don't like to wear our safety glasses. They fog up and they scratch and obscure my vision. All right, so we talked about anti-fog technology. Fogging should never be a problem for you if you choose to correct safety glasses. All of the um, top ranking glasses have permanent anti-fog uh, permanent anti -fog technology applied to the lens, and as opposed to the rub off or wear away um, coatings. Now, anti-scratch technology is a bit different and there's no real standard technique to test for this and manufacturers don't test for it. So it's harder to evaluate. The moral of the story here is that any ANSI impact rated safety glass will protect your eyes from debris and, and projectile impact. But if you wanna wear them for any length of time and certainly during physical activity, then get a pair with hydrophilic anti-fog technology and then keep them in a protective case when you're not wearing them so they don't scratch because that's, that's a must. Once they scratch, bad enough, you're not gonna wear them, right? All right, one quick thing I wanna want mention. How do you know if your safety glasses have ANSI protection? Under OSHA standards, safety glasses must be permanently marked, usually on the, on the rim here, with manufacturer markings, followed by a plus sign. And that's um, if the lenses are impact rated. Glasses that do not protect against impact will only include the manufacturer marking. These mark, or the markings, I should say, appear usually in the upper or outer corner of the lenses or along the, the, um, the temple and on the lens, especially on prescription glasses. One important thing to note also is that 
ANSI does not require third-party testing, impact testing and stuff like that on a safety glass. But manufacturers must supply it if you request it. So you can ask for that third-party testing. If you're in charge of purchasing safety glasses or your company's making that purchase, then request proof of third-party impact testing. It's important. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And please consider uh, becoming a channel member. I'm Rob Robillard, and we'll see you next time here at Toolbox Buzz. Stay safe and wear your safety glasses.